Hello everyone, this is one of our 50 cubic tank and as you can see we are filling it up with water right now so that we can start the water preparation and start our culture over here. So we received a lot of questions and queries from our fellow friends in Facebook and YouTube about the costing of building a tank like this. This is a 50 cubic, which is eight meter diameter tank. And um, the material used to make this tank is um, tarpaulin, that is trapal. And um, the quality we used here is, this is Mariama and this is S200. There are different classes and types of the trapal. This is S200. Um, this is a very thick one and it is durable as told at least five to eight years. And these are available in Manila, Chinatown. You can get this uh, for the one of this size. I got it for with transportation uh, and everything. Each of the Trapal tanks, uh, only this one, huh? Not the frame, only this Trapal uh, material and labor for making it and the transportation, everything included. It cost, it cost me around 20,000, 20,000 pesos, PHP. Uh, we did um, try to source it from Facebook and other resellers but the prices were a bit high for us so we went to the suppliers in manila in chinatown and we got this for this decent price we saved a lot of money by going directly to the supplier and this is the cost of the tank so we also have a roof these are uv plastic uh, these are the ones used uh, for greenhouse these are UV treated, so what happens, ordinary plastic uh, tends to be damaged within three to four months, but this lasts for years, for which we selected this. There are a lot of uh, benefits for using this roof. We will uh, discuss about all this in some other video. And we just wanted to tell you, um, it doesn't cost you a lot of money to build a tank like this. So I just wanted to show you um, what the support, the support of this whole Trapal tank is very simple, very, very simple. This is the secret, people. This is the secret, okay? What you can see, these are sacks, sacks of feeds. The fish feeds you uh, feed to your fishes. These are the sacks, uh, you can see right over there, you know, floating feeds and everything. Uh, these are always available uh, around you where there's a lot of fish farming going on and this will cost you somewhere around six pesos if these are 50 kilos uh, sacks then it will cost you from uh, starting from 4.5 to six pesos depending on the quality of the sack and uh, I needed um, I used around 240 sacks and we just filled them up with sand or lupa which is soil uh, and then piled them around and then uh, we just uh, put the trouble in between so uh, like with labor and everything to build this tank was somewhat around um, 25 to 28,000 and for the aeration system let's say another I would say another, a maximum of another 20,000. So that would, let's say, let's say it's a round figure of 50,000, 50,000 pesos. You can have a setup like this because uh, a lot of our followers in Facebook and YouTube and people reached us out in, in WhatsApp. Um, they were telling us there were other people offering at a very higher price which they could not afford and mine looks a bit cheaper 
look um, it might not look very decent like the others but it does the same job it does the same job for sure trust me and this tank I suppose will at least last for five five years because we already tested the quality of this tropple and I can tell you one thing that this is very tough and it can hold a lot of water and we did different tests to see the um, the capability and the durability of this thruple and we're satisfied with it okay so now what we're doing we're filling this tank up so that we can start preparing the water here uh, the water you see this is from the city supply uh, here we have prime water it can be Nawasa it can be any water supply from your local um, municipality or barangay or city whatever it is but the only thing is before using this water for your culture make sure you get rid of the chlorine which comes along with this water because city water gets treated with chlorine and it takes around 24 to 48 hours uh, if you aerate the water properly the chlorine tends to um, go out of the water and there are other ways like sodium thiosulfate which you add in the water um, to neutralize the chlorine present in the water so that would be it because we get a lot of questions regarding our setups and we will be posting more videos you can ask more questions you can send it directly to our inbox and we will try to answer it um, as soon as possible hope this helps Thank you.